today I would do a little demo on how to make a hot dog pillowcase. I don't know who came up with this pattern, um, so I can't give credit to somebody specific, but I just love it. All the seams inside are all covered. You can see that I believe this is called a French seam, so there's no raw edges inside. Uh, very easy project for a beginner or something great to teach the kids in our lives. And they can actually make a full project. You can see this one's Valentine's. You're going to have a cuff, your mane, and a flange. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to um, show you how to do this the exact same way I teach the kids how to do it because it kind of sticks in my head. So the first part we need is the cuff. And that's going to be the bun of our hot dog. We're going to cut it nine inches wide and it's from salvage to salvage. So every hot dog needs to have mustard, or maybe this one's green, it's relish. So we are going to take a two and a half inch strip and we are going to press it in half. That is going to go on our bun. If your fabrics aren't exactly the same length, don't worry about it. We'll take care of that. So this is our hot dog, and this is the main piece of our, our uh, pillow, and we've cut this piece at 27 inches from salvage to salvage, and I am going to align this up also on the top. But it doesn't look like a hot dog, so let's make it look like a hot dog. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to roll it up so it looks like a hot dog. Our hot dog has to be inside our bun. So we're going to take our bun and we're going to fold it over our hot dog. So now I'm going to take these edges and I'm going to do some pinning. I want to align my layers up so they're all nicely lined up. And I'm going to pin this time vertically. Normally I pin in this direction, but in this case, to keep all those layers together, I want to really pin um, this way and lots and lots of pins. We're going to pin all the way. Now I'm going to the sewing machine and I oh, missed a pin. I'm going to the sewing machine and I am going to sew this with about a 3/8 inch seam, which is about the width of a regular foot from the needle to the edge of the foot. And I'm going to sew all the way along. Okay, so I've sewn the edge. I also backstitched at the beginning and also at the end, uh, just to keep them uh, locked in. So what I'm going to do now is turn it inside out. I'm going to grab my cuff, and I'm just going to turn this. I guess it's turning it right side out. I've made so many of these for my grandkids. Um, trying to get all the holidays so they all have special pillows on their big boy and big girl beds. I love them for all the different seasons. I have some ladies that uh, make them for themselves. Uh, it, when you start sleeping on quilters cotton, it's such a nice feel. It seems to stay cool. It's really great. Let me go get my iron so we can show you how to iron this. Okay, so what I want to do is press my cuff so it's nice and flat. So I'm going to start on the back and I'm just going to make sure that this seam is open all the way. I don't want to press here because I don't know what's happening on the other side yet. I just want to press this part and now I can turn it over. And I can make sure that this is open. So you can see it was folded over. I want to make sure that it's open all the way.
And now I can press the whole cuff. I'm just going to press, uh, check my back, make sure that it's still fine. Perfect. Whoops, we can even give it a little press here. Alrighty, step two. We are going to take our pillowcase and we're going to fold it wrong sides together. I want to make sure that I'm aligning this seam and our salvage edge. Remember, our cuff might be sticking out because it was a different piece of fabric. And now I want to trim off my salvages. I am going to align the line of my ruler with my seam here. And I'm just eyeballing it down to make sure that I can cut off my salvage. It's really thick there, so there we go. Down. I'm just using the edge of my pillowcase to align my ruler. We're going to go all the way. I have a little bit of white in there, not a big deal because you can see that my quarter inch seam is going to be well over. It's not going to be showing on my pillowcase at all, but I've cut off the um, salvage. I am also going to make sure that the bottom is nice and straight as well. Just aligning the um, line of my ruler up with the edge of my pillowcase and I'm just going to trim that off. We're going to put some pins in here. This time when I sew I am going to sew with a quarter inch seam. Okay, so meet me at the sewing machine and we will sew this seam. Okay, so because of the way I pinned, I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way to the top. If your pillowcase was this way when you pinned, then you would start at the top and work your way to the bottom. So here I'm going to use my quarter inch foot and I am just going to back stitch a little bit at the beginning. And I'm going to sew to the other end. So I'm going to sew now up to about a quarter inch away from the edge. Needle down and I am going to pivot. I'm going to turn my fabric and now I'm going to sew up the other side. Now we're coming up to the cuff. Gets a little thick there so I want to sew slowly. If your sewing machine has a hard time getting through all those layers, maybe you might need a new needle. So I'm sewing slowly. Sewing up to the edge and then I'm going to back stitch. There we go. Just going to clip a little bit of the fabric off of this corner just so it turns a little bit, a little bit of that one, and our thread. And now we're going to turn it right sides in. Here's a little trick when you're turning something. If you take your finger and stick it in the end, fold this, self, fold this seam over, this seam over, grab and push the corner through, 
you can see that you get it almost totally perfectly um, uh, turned that you have hardly any little picking to do there. Seam in. I learned that from a seamstress from doing um, collars. And we're just going to go back to the iron and we're going to press this seam nice and flat. Okay, so now let's just open up these seams. We're going to press them so they're nice and flat, making sure that um, I roll them between my fingers so they're open all the way. And we're going to go all the way around. having issues rolling the seam. Normally I lick my fingers and we're not supposed to do that. If your corner is stuck in a little bit you can just grab a pin or a little purple thing or something and make sure that it's pulled all the way out. And the bottom. There's no seam on this side, but I'm just going to give it a little press so it's nice and flat. So this time when we go to the sewing machine, we are going to sew with a half inch seam from the top, again, around and the bottom. We don't have to do this side because there's no seam there. We just want to encase this raw edge in our uh, seam allowance. So half inch off to the sewing machine. I'll be right back. Okay, so you can see that I've sewn with a half inch. All I did is actually use the half inch guide that's uh, right on my sewing machine, backstitch top, bottom, and um, was good to go. Great project because your seam doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. If this was a little bigger or smaller, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Now all we're going to do is turn this now right sides out. Give it a little press. Okay, we're going to give the whole project a nice little steaming and it's actually done ready to go on the pillow, ready to go on the bed for our nap or ready to go trick-or-treating. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more of these videos. Have a great day!